People were like, hey, you should change your podcast name. Uh, man. So what does what does Max think before we dive in with our opinions? Do you want my opinion? Yeah, they There's don't want always their the parents to see it. They don't yeah, want family members, they don't want their jobs. I know, was told if I had a real job right now, I would have gotten fired. The podcast is so good. Like, if I was still working at the credit card jobs, they would have fired me. Yeah. Because it's not people don't think it's a bad pod. It's a it's <laughs> wait, let me guess. It doesn't align with their sensibilities. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is that why you are here? Yeah. Episode 49. 50? No. What? 42. 41. 47. <laughs> We just told you the number. 41. 41. Wait, episode so 41. 41 whoa, episode. Whoa, whoa. The big conversation on the table. Oh, buddy. I'm, I'm excited. Welcome to the Coke Dads podcast. Let's start it out proper. Okay. I, wa- I want Brandon to bring it up immediately. How was your birthday? It was good. It was, uh, I ate a lot of good meals. I saw a lot of lovely people. Yes, but it wasn't all good, was it? Oh, you wanted to say it? Okay, so. I like how you said that. No, people would be, people would be happy birthday. Nice seeing you. I really like what you're up to. And I was like, appreciate it. Any honest criticism. And it would be like, the club looks great. You guys sound great. The podcast clips are great. But you're doing that thing where like, you don't want to succeed. And I was like, what are you even talking about? Like, you know that Brandon thing? In my world, I call it the Ario thing. But in everyone else's world. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But they, they, that's the thing. They, they called it the Brandon thing where it's like, you, you, you want to give yourself a chance. Like, the podcast is great. If you want the truth, I was just like, then why don't you share it? Yeah, and, and they were like, they're just like, because I'm not going to share anything. I don't want my family to see the word cocaine. Some of these people think it's hilarious that they've bought shirts. They don't, <laughs> they just don't want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Someone will wear this shirt to the gym. Someone will wear this shirt, ironically or hilariously. <laughs> But, like, they won't. (laughs) But they won't put it out there. It's just no one wants to be affiliated. It's tough for people. Well, what do you think? Because the original whole point of this was this week before we met, I was going to make a joke with you that we wanted to change the podcast. And we came up with a jokey name, and it was just hilarious. And then in that six days, people were like, hey, you should change your podcast name. (sighs) Man. So what what does Max think before we dive in with our opinions? No, no, okay. You, you want my opinion? Yeah, we, right we, before we pay we you. Start. You want we my want, opinion yeah, first. first yeah. I've before noticed that you, you don't guys. share a collab with the Crips either. I want okay. an honest opinion well, from I get Max. that. He has his own pod. I get he that. Doesn't, <laughs> this is our pod. I get why he does that. But doesn't have anything yeah, to yeah. do with the name. No, like, yeah, it's not, it's a, like, I don't relate to Coke Dads at all, but like my dad did meth, but it's like, I would never make a podcast called Meth Dads. Because Meth Dad isn't funny. Coke Dad is funny. I Coke Dad, think- look, Coke Dads is funny, okay? As a comic, but the thing is that- Write in the certain- comments if you think Coke or Meth Dad is funny and or thing, not it, funny. This in We've my, laughed at Meth Dads. Okay, in my mind, yes, because we're comics. But here's the thing, this is this is the, the, the crucial thing that it comes down to, is that sometimes some jokes play to the back of the room there are certain and granted i like coke dads but here's the thing in terms of marketability you guys already hit it and hand net hand nail on the head with bubby's boys the bubby's boys podcast would for sure be a more <laughs> marketable just to hear people say that the thing that's holding us back is the, a name and a logo absolutely because it's all about brand recognition and the thing is that people can't share that they like, like if there's, they there's don't always want their the parents to see it. They don't yeah, want family members. They don't want their jobs. I was told if I had a real job right now, I would have gotten fired. The podcast is so good. Like, if I was still working at the credit card jobs, they would have fired me yeah. because it's not. People don't think it's a bad pod. It's a. It's <laughs> wait. Let me guess. It doesn't align with their sensibilities. No, it's an ego trip for us. Uh, no, fuck off. That's it's what like, I've been told. Again, no. It's like, did you ever? You, did you ever cook, Dad Max? No. How rare is it that two guys? Who have the same common goal and dream, have the same personal trauma. Okay, that's like we saying, have like, cook dads. Like imagine, okay, I'll, I'll extend an olive branch. Okay, yeah. imagine like two, <laughs> imagine two guys, imagine two guys meet and they're just like, wait, you had childhood leukemia too? <laughs> yeah, and, and they did a podcast. The leukemia from- boys. <laughs> yeah, that's funny <laughs> for two minutes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like, well, firstly, I, here's my one issue I really have with it is how quickly he flips away from it. I didn't flip. He doesn't take any responsibility. Okay, well, I, I wanted to for call, forty-one I wanted to name episodes. It, I wanted to name it the Bubby's Boys podcast. We did three with that name for four for forty one episodes. I've been taking feedback. I'm not so quick to flip. This has been like a year process of putting shit out and working. It's not like I. It's not like we put it out. We put all of this effort, and I was like, you know what, Ariel, all that time wasted. This was like 
like a year of my life, I put in, and I put in the least amount of time of the three of us. I put in three to five hours a week on this, just hanging out and being a part of it. That being said, is like, if that's the one thing holding us back, that's all I'm saying. I'm not it's, so quick to flip. I'm not saying that's there's, incorrect. There's <laughs> also, there's literally no shame in rebranding. No, I know it's that. Not it's, it's, not, then, it's not a shame thing at it's all. It's a stubbornness. It's a you thing. guys yeah, are yeah, yeah, stubborn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the fact that it's a bunch the of things. The fact that there can be a podcast called Come Town and it does well. Yeah, it's, but people it's, like it's coming. Vi- it's a different... <laughs> That's the thing. I brought that up to but the they're, people. They're they can play it to their boss. They can be like, listen, boss, I put out this clip called Come is, Town, but is God in, forbid I talk about the cocaine dance. That is incels and and it's incels and comics that love that podcast. That's what's so it's already canceled. That's people. their dom. That's their demographic, and it's a lot of people who don't share that they they create subreddits. They do all this other shit that's around it, and it's like it's also based around Nick Mullen, who's like an like he came rise to power being a gigantic troll, and he's just like it's a it's all a different thing. It's a di- I guess it's a different thing. But it's a this, different beast. This is us. For so sure. Is that. I so is that. So right that. behind you. Look, all that this takes. Looks, this looks like Ariel. Just change the second. logo. One second. Wait, wait. He's gonna put, uh, <laughs> just do it though. Put your head down right now. Quickly. Put your, does that not look like Ariel? Okay. Yep. It's an it, homage. It does. It it's does an artistic like homage. Episode 41. It looks like Ariel, but watch this uh, one second. And. There we go. Oh, there's, there's a buzzing because Max yeah, was so sorry. excited. It was not you. Max was so excited to show us something. What did I do? There's a real annoying buzz. It's this okay. is taking way longer than it should. Episode 41. It's kind of softening your point. <laughs> it is. Well, can you at least put the Coke Dads one there? Well, we'll get to the club. We'll sell merch with it. That's still our merch. Sorry. What do you think? Ooh. Buddy. <laughs> Look, right now, that's a more wholesome right there. No, wholesome that's isn't. so wholesome. You shouldn't have used that word, though. No, see, that's a wholesome comedian right there. Look, but that's uh, not who we are. Yes, you are. I'm a wholesome comedian. Look at that I'm fucking Sue York shirt. <laughs> All right, but that being said, is like maybe that's not the answer either. I was just bringing it to both of your attentions that, like, if that's the one thing, if people <laughs> do marketing for a living are like, hey, I'll give you advice, and it's like, you guys, honestly, they just, people were like... But there's that, there's that through line. Where, where is advice? And where is... If you're getting criticized over and over and over, it's just because you're doing something different. But no one's telling us to stop. Remember day one when I was like, who the fuck's going to listen to this? Apparently, people are listening to this. And then we exactly. go, not us, our dads. And they're like, eh. <laughs> as soon as we bring up the coke, they're like, eh. Yeah, as I just say this before, people don't do cocaine publicly. People do it in washrooms. People don't go around and, like, and how's your weekend? But I that's love- part of it, is that I had to live in that world. I, you understand? I, I, I lived in that world. Let it out. Let's sure. talk about it. You understand that my life, for most of my childhood, was spent living in that world. Yeah, for sure. And what I can't, so by minimizing it, by telling me I can't call my podcast Coke Dads. I'm not saying you no, can't. No, no, let me finish. Okay. If I listen to let your him, fucking let opinions. Let him start. Let him yeah, start. Right. Yeah, he has it. let him start. Right. If I had to live with it, I can make fun of it, no? Sure. Yes. And that, it's, it's, it's not meant to be like, you know, like I'm trivializing cocaine. But for me, I'm doing that. Yeah. Because if so many people are willing to fucking do cocaine, be a fucking adult. And say, oh, yeah, I've dabbled in cocaine. Like, don't, oh, don't do cocaine and then tell me I can't name my podcast Coke Dad. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do cocaine and be a father. Yeah. <laughs> and then be like, hey, this is too. It's, that's fucking, like, it's so annoying. Hey, what, what don't not, you? <laughs> look, I'm not saying don't name it that. I'm saying if you didn't name it that, it would be easier to market. <laughs> I like this conversation. So when you said you lived in that world, tell us about that. Uh, how many times do I have to talk this about This might be the last time, guys. This might be the last time Ariel gets this off his chest. <laughs> you know? So I not ever. Us. But, like, I want to know, us. like, this. what I thought was beautiful about that conversation, especially when the power showed up, is, like, for me, I was kind of like, you guys see that I'm a sheltered adult. You tell me there's a fucking crack in my wall. I'm like, oh, that must have just got there. Ariel's like, it's been there for a month. So imagine me as a child. I didn't know my dad was so into coke that he was. Now I get older, I saw it. I was 18, I was 20. It made sense. Yeah. But like, I had no, like, yeah, looking back again, naive, sheltered little boy. Didn't really, my dad is still around. He's still fucking, I just saw him the other day. You know, I didn't, it's a different vibe, you and me. So for me, it's just like the coke dad thing is hilarious to me because I have friends that do cocaine. I have friends that are dads that do cocaine. Fuck, everyone we know 
except Ario Kagan has tried cocaine. Mm. I, and He's I, the only I one that has have it. no issue. If you want to do coke, I say this on stage. If you want to do coke twice a year as a dad, I support it. <laughs> you need a night away from the kid. I get it. Mm-hmm. Fuck the little shit. I get mm-hmm. it. You understand? That's not what I lived through, though. For sure. No, so it's like a daily. Your dad was a drug addict. Yeah. Yeah. And but to the point where <laughs> okay. drug addict daddies. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make like <laughs> druggy dads. But like that's the thing. Just, when we brought up the pod and we started doing it, like the whole point of all of these experiences is we're growing. We're growing every day, and sometimes when I throw a hissy bitch fit at you guys and I get like sensitive, or you want to, you guys get sensitive. It feels like we're taking steps back, but we're not. We're taking steps forward, and this is a big step forward for us. We're like, you can still come to the club. Fuck, it's not our podcast anymore. For forty dollars, you could buy a fucking Coke Dad's T-shirt. You know, it could be twenty-five. Limited no, edition. Now it's we have forty. A, we have a because, thousand. You know, <laughs> but all jokes aside, it's just like but for him, it's such a big. It's my. It's it's. You know how people have their thing that informed who they are. Yeah. This is mine. You understand that? Sure. This oh, is. Go mine. on, though. Keep explaining because it's like okay. I learned to be funny because I had to impress a security guard while I was just l- lounging around at the fucking casino. Mm-hmm. Right. So I learned to be funny off. Of hanging out with coke people. Yeah. Of hanging out with coke adults. Right? So, I don't know. I just, I find it, I find it that people just can't understand it. And so they're like, just change the name. No, it's like, and it's, it's not, like, no, it's no, not even, you're it's missing not even, the point of why we're doing any of it. You're too real, man. You're too punk rock. No, That's why, like, like, I love you for Why it. we're doing any of it. No, it's like, a, it's a, you're this wearing your, awesome. uh, this, uh, like, there's a term for it. It's like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve in that regard. Yeah, yeah. that's the us. That's yeah. the whole why that, we... To me, but that... It's like also, also, at the same time, would you say that your Bubby was a big part of your life? That's way where, less. Well, no, okay. for me, no. This one is more exploitative. For me, not. For me, it's the reverse. For me, this, this one was like, part. I was like, they were like, we want to do this thing. I rushed. I was just like, fuck this, it. This is a huge part of my life. life. Like, to give a background in, the, in this, I'll try to say this the last time, too. When my grandma passed, that's when I started taking all the shit serious. I like was in and out of comedy, wanted to be a rock star, wanted attention, whatever you want to say it is. I That's fucking nice. my grandma passed this, away. This grandmother raised the Coke son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This this grandmother was the reason that guy couldn't just get it together for just a little bit. He she should have got the vasectomy. Yeah. Arnold right. would have been a lot happier if she any, all jokes aside though, I'm glad all we're, right. we're talking so, about this. So here, uh, I'll I'll propose this question. Keep in mind, I'm playing as a neutral party yeah. just because I'm producing Whoa, I don't want to become off the guy that's pro name change. Uh, I just want to come off both sides no, no. and if neither of okay. you are gonna man I'll up, say I'll this. take the fucking I'll side. I'll say this. Would I like this podcast to be successful? One hundred percent. Ariel Kagan wants it. Yes, yes. If, Ariel. if if changing it to this is the only thing between me and that success, I'm willing to let it go. I don't know if it should be this, but I also agree that but like I think it should be that because already here's the thing: you are it's already established. You guys have already created brand name recognition under that. You have merch that uh, surrounds it. You can still sell the Coke Dads. People are going to uh, think we went through a Coke phase. You can They're go through. Think we went through <laughs> this you can resell the Coke Dads. Uh, you can see, keep selling the Coke Dads merch for sixty dollars as a limited, as a limited edition thing. Club. And on top of that, that's our that is already on the backdrop. So it's already Should something. Should I change this blue? Do you want me to change it blue? I want to say one thing quickly. Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, please. That, yeah, we didn't, please. that we didn't. Get, like, here's the thing: is I didn't want to call it Coke Dads in the beginning. He didn't. It was me. I didn't want to do a logo where a guy was sniffing coke off a baby. Very <laughs> close to home. Close. To, too close to home. I, I didn't want to do either of those things. And then someone was like, "Just do it for me." Who was that person? <laughs> Yeah, you made him draw a Can baby. Make, I didn't have like a gun to he his head. Expla- <laughs> he, draw the fucking logo, Kagan. He explained what he saw yeah. in his head. He explained what he saw in his head. I didn't yeah. get it exactly right. For the record, though. I didn't get it exactly right. For the record, how many out of all the merch we've ever sold, what sold the most? Probably the Cug Dad shirt. So I'm not Because like, the, the design is pretty funny. Could you please cut your face right there? <laughs> yeah, like, You're like, really? Max is like, Coke Dad's podcast with Max Sheldrick. It's a pretty funny logo, though. Look, it's a funny logo, and on top of that, it's good merch. But that's also just, that can just be your merch. We'll see. That can be, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Maybe maybe people in the next couple of weeks will be like, hey, guy, like. For the next, I don't know how many, many just, episodes, we'll call it this. And if <laughs> our views don't go up, we're going back to Coke Dad. I don't know. Wait, let's just do this, though. Let's just do this. Okay. okay? Episode 41, Bubby's Boys Podcast. I'm Brando Jokes. 
Well, episode 42, well, I guess, will be the Bubby's Boys podcast. R.I.P. Dads. <laughs> we're just yeah. killing off my dad again. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I think, how about this, though? Because if we're going to have fun. this talk for real, is that what that feels like? Is this like no. your way of holding on to the Because no. you know once this is gone, we're probably never going to talk about your dad unless I'm high on cocaine. No, I'll talk about my dad. <laughs> on, yeah. yeah, yeah you want to hear about yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm doing a lot better with it. You yeah, know? clearly. I went to a lot of therapy over it. Just, I'm glad we I think that pressed. pisses me off too. I bet none of those people have ever talked to their father about how they feel and then they have the audacity <laughs> <laughs> to slide yeah. in your fucking DMs and be like, your guy's childhood bums me out. I think it goes back, it's funny you're saying that, but it goes back to this like taboo, like I'm so proud of you to talk about that stuff and I'm so proud of myself, if you know me, to have that phase of my life where that was going on. Yeah. And it's just like, it's all growth. And it's just like, again, when you put that all together, it's who, what made you who you are. Yeah. But I, well, I, one piece. Yeah. No, but the like fact if that I made a podcast called piece. if I made a podcast called Disabled Dads, you know, you wouldn't. No. <laughs> Sorry. What was the name of your special again? Uh, the disabled skeletons in my closet. Oh, why is it called that? <laughs> because that though. right there, that right that's there is good a good writing. Yeah. No, but that's <laughs> a, when we do it. It's like go fuck yourself. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. It's a one. It's a one off. That's the it's thing. A it's an album where this is. That, this it's is, a one off. I'm just saying it's cool the, when you bit. do it, but when we do it, oh, no, how no, dare no, we? It's just one. You're dumb. It's a good album, babe. <laughs> it's a good conversation a good al- piece. I've never once said it wasn't a good album. This is a good conversation where it's just like we literally. This is this is a. This is a heated topic. 41 episodes ago, <laughs> yeah. I made jokes that no one would ever watch this and that no one cares. And now people are telling me that they're watching it and they're caring. It's just, we're, we're doing that thing we do. Oh, what's that? You know when you guys don't <laughs> want to be successful? Excuse me? Sorry, you mean the Ariel, <laughs> as you called it earlier. Well, it's the fact that that's why... <laughs> I like how we glossed over that. It was very ruthless. <laughs> it's I'm because you lie, talked just... about getting a vasectomy, <laughs> and since you've been talking about that, and you said you wanted the Saju lineage to stop with you. Just my Saju I don't know lineage. if you guys have noticed. Let's get that clear. I'm not like you pro-eugenic. Not the, rid- <laughs> not the Saju. This my. version of the Saju. Well, since I've been <laughs> listening to our <laughs> podcast, I've noticed that like... You, sometimes we say things that stick and that stuck where it's like I am shorter than you and yes I got these beautiful eyes but like I don't know if I want sad babies it's like you know what I'm saying I'm almost 40 I don't know if I'm gonna have kids we address this on, on coke dads not bubbies yet but like you know what I'm saying where it's like you say things and it's the long term effect of it so it's like with the whole, even the whole coke dads I kind of just want to storm off sad just throw a hissy fit. <laughs> you, you guys don't get my vision. Do you want to? <laughs> sta- do you want to stage one for promo? <laughs> no, I just, just stage one. Just let, let go free. Just let it out. No, uh, okay. yeah, I, I don't think. You, up to you. Up no, to I'm us? good. No. Okay. Do you want to do it? No, it's just weird how it's like you it's, it's art. Off? Ah, no, it's dude. art, and it's, it's not art at the vibe. core. And it's like everything art, everyone's ever told Ariel to do is talk about things and address things. And it's like before you can address anything, you got to start from the, those first conflicts. And he did a. We did forty-one episodes of addressing something that, like, again, to me, it, it was hard, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't life changing hard. It was like, yeah, my dad got kicked out of the house, had to get his shit together. Grandkids were born. He became a person again. So there was like a two, three year period. That's kind of why I liked it. It's because it went different ways. How insane is that? How insane is that two men had the same fucking problem thing and one was like, well, I'll get it together. And the other one was like, more cocaine. I think yours for some reason, I think your dad may have been younger. Yeah, and it was, was a difference in, especially the upbringing of South Africa versus Hamilton. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have no, I will never I know. I don't know. I don't never. know. That's part of it. I didn't know him. I was fucking a child. And then I don't know. Know. Say that again differently. <laughs> well, I didn't know him. I was a child. You, no, oh, you, you mean like it sounded like I was getting fucked by a stranger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was fucking a child, you said. <laughs> like, like, oh, I was say, fucking a child. Yeah, yeah, I was fucking. But it's the romanticized. It's that no, now yeah. that you look back. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's like Cackham Show. You hear people's stories of them, and you yeah. hear what you remember. Mm-hmm. And, and this you, was your way of being like, thanks for making me at least funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, thanks for something. Pretty much. That's a good, that's yeah. a better way of saying thanks what I Thanks for making me funny. That, that's so that's good. what it's called. Thanks for making me funny podcast. Uh, welcome to our trauma. And, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but BBP, Bubby's Boys Pod. They met, Let's uh, work on we, your end. They made us funny podcast? They made us and we just bring, we bring yeah. in guests. Hey, who fucks you up? Uh, <laughs> it's wordy, <laughs> but. I think we agree. Who effed it's... you up? Who effed you up is a good podcast. That's a good segment. Who effed you up, So, son? Max, let's have uh, first. Yeah, who effed you, who up, effed you up, Why did you stand-up comedy? Uh, for but this sh- implies we only interview stand-ups. Well, right now, Max. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay, so who fucked you up? <laughs> yeah. You know, it was my dad. 
It was my dad, of course. Was it the drugs? Uh, no. Get the fuck off of it. No, no, my dad what? wasn't into drugs. <laughs> was, it, was it the fact that it wasn't his sperm? Uh, no. Well, that that fucked me up a little bit. <laughs> like, I can't say that. That didn't hurt. How did you find out? Uh, my mom, one day, okay, so this is actually pretty funny. Well, not really, but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I, I came, he's laughing, actually. So uh, I came home one day, me and my sister, uh, my dad dropped us off at, uh, at home. And uh, my mom and uh, my mom and my stepdad, they were sitting in the living room. They're like, and my mom was like, we got to talk to you. And uh, I was like, okay, <laughs> like, am I dying? What the fuck? <laughs> And then uh, she brings me and my sister into the room, and they, uh, and then, fuck, how did they say it? Uh, shit. You know that, that dad of yours? Yeah, pretty much. Spoiler alert. <laughs> They're like, uh, he's You're not, not his cam. He's not your biological father. We have to, to minimize or to uh, eliminate the risk of you guys uh, carrying on the uh, hereditary disease. That we went with the sperm donor, and like my sister was. How old was, were you guys? Uh, I was sixteen. Were you guys like that? Makes sense. How old's the sister? Older. Uh, than nineteen. Okay. She's so you're 19. adults. You're both. Wow, uh, late. Yeah, yeah. She, she sister, took it worse. My I sister, think. yeah, my sister took it pretty hard. Uh, she like she cried quite a bit. I cried like a little bit, but then <laughs> I was like, I, I'm just gonna go back to dad's and hang out with him for a little while. The way yeah. you say little bit, like you just took something so serious and made it funny just by being like, I cried a little bit. I cried a little bit. <laughs> I cried a smidge. <laughs> I, I shed a tear, but you know. <laughs> so is it dads that make yeah. it funny? You're, You're living, therapy. yeah, dads, dads and, uh, well, it's your parents. Therapy? It's your parents. I, it's always. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just the amount of shit you go through It's early. the adults that program it can you. Be not, it can be not uh, parents related to, like other shit could happen. It also you. could be like you move around schools constantly and then, you have, to, yeah, and then you have to fucking develop a hu- sense of humor to make uh, you likable easily. I remember. You yeah. did that? No, I, I, I just, some kid called me fat a lot. And then one day I was just like, I'm going to make this shit funny. And then I like, call myself fat and then like ripped on him. People laugh. <laughs> Stop making fun yeah. of me. You were like, yeah, I am fat. It was like Fuck my, uh, you. It was like my eight mile moment. Like, yeah, I am fat. I do wear a cap. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am Jewish. Now say something they don't know about me. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, uh, your dad molested you. And you're like, ah, I didn't think you knew that. <laughs> it was just weird. It was so weird how that guy was so tough. And then I just like said something. And you guys know me. I might. I'm borderline really rude. Like, that's what I find funny, and I'm sorry for it most of the time. But, like, I, I love rude. Like, when, it, when there's blood. So I just said something venomous, and he just fucked up. Yeah. Well, we're at uh, 23 minutes, boys. This that been- was only 23 minutes? Yeah. That felt like an eternity. Can we do, um, can we do a power... Rule yeah, power, rule of power and, we'll and just, end we'll it. it. Do you want me to do it right now, or do you want yeah. me to open it up the next? No, time? no, so, do it. Okay, all right, all right. So law number three. We this is number three now. Not Forty-eight. So, okay. <laughs> Wait, so, what was two? Uh, I don't even remember. Okay, what just two was. Uh, okay. So one, number two was uh, never put too much trust in friends. Learn to use your yeah. enemies. And okay. number one was never shine. No, don't outshine. Never, don't don't outshine. Wait, the master. Can you just dump down number two real quick? Was just keep your friends close, your enemies closer. That was it. Uh, no, yeah, it's like it's the fact that your friends will take advantage of you, and your yeah, as opposed to an enemy who will try to use. Who's like uh, the fuel to? Yeah, they'll, they'll be like, I have something to prove. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Okay. Number three. So we should number hire three, an enemy. A lawn, yeah, you should hire like, an enemy. We we got too close to this guy. You should find funny. a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did. Yo. Thought we did. Hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Do we have a Nazi in the budget? <laughs> <laughs> Can we hire a Nazi? How much? We Nazis? Gotta, <laughs> how much will they charge? <laughs> Look, for you, a lot. A discount? Uh, no. To put down Jews all day, they would love that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just sit there and be like. Yeah, look, look, just like we miss Max. Look, he hates the Jews, but holy shit, is he a good editor? Yeah. <laughs> holy shit, he makes us look so wow. bad. It's good. Have you seen these new clips? <laughs> these new clips. <laughs> Coke, he has like a lot of graphics. Coke like, Dads is going viral. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so uh, Kite Boys. Law, <laughs> law yeah. number three Let's is. Call it um, uh, no, I'm, I'm, being the, I'm being the German guy that's like, so it's you not Coke guys, Dads yeah. anymore. We'll call it that. We'll call it, yeah. call it what? <laughs> You're not going to say it? I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I didn't hear you the last time. <laughs> All right, so law number three is uh, conceal your intentions, okay? 
Boo. Wow. That's my, you know, that's actually my pet peeve. It's one of his biggest <laughs> triggers. Okay, so this is the descriptor of it's it. So, Kip, it. keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing your purpose behind your actions. If, you, if they have no clue what you are up to, they cannot prepare a defense. Guide them far enough down the wrong path, envelop them in smoke, and by the time they realize your intentions, it will be too late. This guy's fucking done some bad shit. So yeah. I have um, <laughs> this guy. Well, a here's bad the thing. He's a, he's a he's a historian, yeah. so he'll look at like um, he'll look at a political like actions. God. Yeah, shit like that. Like it'll he's be like, like fucking... it'll be like oh the time the Duke of what who gives a fuck uh, slighted this guy, and it's like okay, that softens it a bit. Yeah, so yeah. it's honestly I pictured more like a no. Andrew Tate fucker. No, this no, is no, no. honestly. Let me biggest, tell you the rules of power. This okay, is my so, biggest pet peeve. This rule yeah. on the planet. This is my trigger. This is I wouldn't say pet peeve. It's beyond a pet. It's like I ask. Yeah, this I is try a toxic to see, trait. Yeah. I try to be like I try. You guys know better than me because you see, but I try to be literally open and like see other perspectives. Yeah. And this, oh, this yeah. is like my issue in life. Yeah. It's people that do that. Like, yeah, if you okay. never yeah, want to get, can... hopefully, you guys can change my mind right now, and I'll cool down because I do want to listen. But like, Jesus Christ, this is like how you don't get hired at backroom comedy club. Yeah. This is how like I don't want you. you but in you my can life. smell. It. You can smell it. On but people. it's still the fact that it's being like rule number three, man, not rule number forty-eight. Rule number yeah, no. three. Yeah, they get bad. <laughs> yeah, really I've been on this fun. guy's side this whole okay, fucking so these time, are, man. There's two parts to this rule, okay? so Yeah, let's hear the full thing. I'm like, okay, okay so, so part one uh, part one is use red herrings, okay? Our first instinct is always to trust appearances. Cultivate an air of honesty in one area to disguise dishonesty in others. Uh, be measured and believable. Throw your enemies off the scent. Kill three birds with one stone. Appear friendly, conceal your intentions, and send rivals on time-consuming wild goose chases. That is the red herring method, okay? So he just said gaslight people. Absolutely. That's what all he just said. We <laughs> send people on bad. unnecessary... Yeah, yeah. This is the most toxic case. I mean, uh, there's an See, element... Of, a, I think what he's trying to say is like, not everyone deserves your your truth. You don't have to tell everyone everything. <laughs> he's saying that would be that insane. If, look, he's there's some sociopaths wanna, who use this rule to the worst <laughs> degree possible. If you want to get further sure. in your career, this is the way we've been looking at this the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. goal would be like find someone like me and you and keep us busy so yeah. you can now go do something else. Okay. With nonsense. Part two to the rule. Okay. It's fucking insane. This. Part two to the rule is use smoke screens. Okay. Deception is always the best strategy, but uh, the best deception requires a smoke screen to distract people's attention from your real purpose. Paran the paranoid and wary are often easiest to deceive. Uh, win their trust in one area, and you have a smoke screen that blinds their view in wow. another. The best deception is a bland, inconspicuous, which calls no attention. Wow, dude! What's the what year was this written? Um, uh, I don't know, like early two thousands. Wow. Jeez. Okay, so key the key to power is if you keep people off balance, they can't counter your effort, efforts. Oh, I understand it. It's just mean, and it's like we're so gross. as people evolve that it's just it's yeah, gross it's is good. Gross. Word. It's yeah. This whole book is gross. Hey guys, guys, this me. whole this whole book is like the worst relationship ever. The good news is, is sometimes I think I'm a sociopath. Yeah, and you this just like proved this. I'm not. Like, yeah, <laughs> so no, I appreciate I like, that. I've, I've uh, I've gone through this book twice now, and it is it's interesting in the fact that you can actually. If you uh, if you read this, like the, someone recommended this to me one time, and in what context they were like, "This is a great read," but then I actually read it, and as I'm reading it, I'm like, "Oh, this motherfucker's doing this shit to me." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god!" And like now I use it as a playbook to sense out like toxic individuals. I'm just like, "Oh, this Game fucking players. guy." These are people that went out of their way to read a, like like being a good read. I get because this is a like good this read. is to know We're the a good conversation because I like being honest. I like being open. I like actually getting to know is he someone. He's reading us right now. No, yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? Don't get fucking paranoid. Right <laughs> Episode forty one. Yeah. We've been paranoid. fucking. Uh, <laughs> Back, I don't know what you are called. We're Bubby's Boys Presents, you guys. All right, so know. Bubby's Boys Podcast. We appreciate you guys. Sorry to just cut you off there, but that was a funny time. He was done. <laughs> it's 30 minutes. He's done. Talk, and I've been Brando Jokes. I've been our okay comedy. That's Max Sheldrick, and it all starts with a follow. Yeah. Ooh.